fitna of the technology today is that we all have the urge because Allah gave us the affordability to buy something. We have the urge to always have the latest. Am I right or wrong? So if that is an urge, look, if you can afford it, no harm, you can get it. But if you are making that your focus, rather focus on Jannatul Firdaus. Get yourself used to using something until it serves you, then change it. That's something good. It's a very good habit. You don't need the S24 or 25 just because it came out when your S21 is loyal to you and faithful and it's serving your purpose. Is it slow? Is it sluggish? Is there something wrong with it? Then you can change it. But if there's nothing wrong, why? Is there a reason? Don't get used to just having the latest for the sake of being a person who has the latest because as a believer, it will dent your connection with Allah. It dents your connection. It definitely does. It's materialism that's taking over. And by the way, if I see someone driving the latest cars, don't think that I'm going to think, oh, this guy's fault. No, no, no. It's, it's, not, it's not up to me to say that. You are allowed to have the latest and the best if you can afford it and, and you've fulfilled all the, you've ticked all the boxes. All I'm saying is don't allow yourself to run behind it. There's no purpose for this. Why did you do this? Allah is telling you, well, have you improved on your relationship with Allah? All of this technology should only be in order for us to get closer to Allah, to facilitate my acts of worship. You have a car, it should facilitate your coming to the masjid, your fulfillment of this of salah. You have electricity, there's warm water, it should facilitate, make it easier for me to bath, to have to make wudu and so on. You have electricity, we spoke about, you have technology of whatever it may be. You have the phones, you have YouTube and whatnot, all of that. Did you use it to gain closeness to Allah? Because I tell you in the eyes of Allah, all the material items of the entire world from the beginning of its creation right up to the end. La yaswa indallahi janaha ba'uda. It is not equivalent to the wing of a fly in the eyes of Allah. 